Hello everyone, PS from PS Invest plays here today. Since March 2020, PayPal's stock had risen approximately 300%. But since July 2021, its stock has shed 25%, turning into negative returns for 2021. In contrast, S&P 500 has risen 25% in 2021. Many analysts think that it is still overvalued. Is this true or can we expect higher stock price in 2021 and beyond? In this video, we will understand its business, its financials, its future growth outlook and review its chart using Elliott Wave to see how we can make money. So stick around, I think you will like what I have in store for you today. PayPal, ticker PYPL. PayPal Holdings INC is an American multinational fintech company operating an online payment system in the majority of countries that support online money transfers and serves as an electronic alternative to traditional paper methods such as checks and money orders. PayPal generated 53% of its revenues in the US and the remaining 47% from international markets. I had covered PayPal a couple of months ago and you can watch my video by clicking on the link in the top right corner. In the previous video, I had covered why PayPal is a dominant force in the fintech business and why it is poised for secular growth for the next decade. I continue to believe in the growth story and I will explain why. When PayPal was spun off by eBay in an IPO in 2015, the online payments company was worth about $45 billion. Today, PayPal has a market cap of just over $300 billion. PayPal's annual revenue grew from $9.24 billion in 2015 to $21.45 billion in 2020 as its number of active accounts rose from 179 million to 377 million. It ended Q2 2021 with 403 million active accounts, a 16% increase year over year. And it expects its revenue to rise about 20% to $25.75 billion for the full year. PayPal seems to be benefiting from the broad secular shift away from cash-based transactions. The company processed a whopping $1.1 trillion in payment volume over the past 12 months. Also, the number of payment transactions jumped 27% year-over-year to $4.7 billion, while the total payment volume TPV climbed 40% to $311 billion in the most recent quarter. A big component of PayPal's growth in recent years has been the Venmo mobile payment app, which saw a 58% increase in TPV to $58 billion in Q2. On 21st September, it introduced significant upgrades to its PayPal app, with new features like access to high yield savings, in-app shopping tools for customers to find deals, and earn cashback rewards, early access de direct deposit, and bill pay. These upgrades are in addition to existing capabilities like sending money to friends, making purchases with the buy now, pay later option, and paying for purchases with crypto. It's worth pointing out that PayPal is technically not a bank. It relies on third-party financial institutions to handle the behind-the-scenes bank-related activities. For example, the savings account called PayPal Savings will be offered by Synchrony Financial. The advantage with this strategy is that PayPal can focus its at attention on gaining users and providing an easy-to-use consumer experience, while at the same time avoiding the regulatory and compliance requirements needed to operate a bank. Synchrony, on the other hand, gets access to a wider audience which it wouldn't be able to reach otherwise. It's a win-win situation for both parties. PayPal plans to introduce stock market investing into the app in the near future. 
pitting it against a younger but popular service like Robinhood Markets. Although PayPal will certainly be late to the brokerage party, its massive existing user base trumps Robinhood's 21 million active accounts. By 2025, the number of people who use digital wallets is expected to reach 4.4 billion globally. And PayPal's recent initiatives, which emphasize simplicity and security, underscored the company's goal to be the main beneficiary of this push. During the second quarter, PayPal produced a non-generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP operating margin and net income margin of 26.5% and 21.8% respectively. Additionally, only 4% of revenue is needed to invest in growth in any given year. So PayPal is able to return capital back to investors while still expanding at a rapid pace. So far in 2021, $1.5 billion of share repurchases have been executed. Due to strong cash flow, PayPal has over $19 billion in cash and cash equivalents with relative low debt, roughly $9 billion. High interest rates could result in a structurally better earnings profile for PayPal, which could stand to make a boatload of money off of customers float. PayPal is currently very profitable without making much money from float. But if PayPal could earn even 2% interest, very possible if the Fed wants to clamp down on inflation, then earnings could get a 10% boost. The 10K from 2018 showed $168 million for the year in interest income against about $2 billion in net income. But last quarter, they only made $13 million from it. Granted, PayPal is a lot bigger now. But if the company could get a 10% earnings boost from higher rates, then that would raise the floor and ceiling for the stock. The total addressable market is huge and growing, both from the global economy, providing a tailwind, and from e-commerce. PayPal's ambition is to become a one-stop app for consumer financial needs from banking to credit to cryptocurrency and by growing its user base. The company is building the infrastructure for this push. There are risks to PayPal's long-run success, but inflation is not one of them, and neither are higher rates. The risks will likely be from competitors eating into high-margin businesses. Competitors like Apple, Amazon, and Square, as well as traditional payment processors like Visa and MasterCard would all like to get more market share. Still, with global e-commerce growing at 10% plus off of tough 2020 comms, there is plenty of room for all of them. Also, even though Pinterest acquisition by PayPal was a rumor which resulted in sharp decline in PayPal stock, it created an excellent opportunity to buy the weakness in the stock. Looking at the financials for PayPal, revenue, gross profit, EBITDA, net income, EPS, earnings per share are increasing by a very good clip. Even when you compare the financials against 2019, they have increased by a very good margin. In the chart on the right, free cash flow, FCF, currently stands at $4.03 per share. Based on the current price to FCF ratio, the stock is in line with the historical averages. In the chart on the left, price to earnings, PE, currently stands at 56.41. The PE ratio has been declining and EPS is increasing quarter over quarter. PayPal is clearly an outstanding company. The ability and willingness to keep pushing the needle in the pursuit of becoming a single comprehensive financial tool for its users will propel the business over the next several years. Rejuvenating the mobile app is a perfect example of this strategy. The growth this company continues to generate means that buying PayPal stock now and holding for the long term should give you outsized returns or profits. 
This is also indicative in the charts where I see the stock price to increase considerably in the next two to three years. Now let's look at the chart for PayPal. Sorry for the short interruption. I wanted to remind you that if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and hit the notification bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. With that said, let's resume our analysis. Looking at the chart for PayPal, the bull run that started way back in 2015 is still not over. It has completed its first two waves and currently wave three is underway. If we look deeper in wave three, it has completed its first three waves and wave four is underway. In wave four, it has completed A, B, and C wave is under progress right now. I see resistance around $223 and strong support around $215.16. This is an excellent buy range according to me. After this pullback is completed, I expect wave 5 to resume which is typically inverse 61.8% of waves 1 to 3. That means a target of $365.88, which translates into 70% profit in the next two to three years. Now, let's summarize. As I said earlier, the current price offers excellent buy range. Nibble any pullbacks and accumulate corrections. I see strong resistance around $223 and strong support around $215. Again, accumulate when the stock com comes within this range and hold it for the next two to three years as I expect PayPal stock to reach $365.88 which translates into a 70% profit in the next two to three years. What do you think of this analysis? Please leave me a comment and let me know. As always, please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and hit the notification bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. Until then, bye-bye.